How does our blood clot? Blood clotting is an important process that stops a person from bleeding. In order for a blood clot to form, a specific sequence of events with many different components must take place. Think of these components as a team of sports people, known as team clotting, who are each trained in a different sport, but all taking part in an overall team competition. The team members all depend on each other to complete the competition. If one team member's event is disrupted, it affects the competition as the team cannot move forward without each other. This is the same for blood clotting, where different components work together to form a blood clot. If one component is affected, then the blood does not clot. How does bleeding stop? The first to arrive are the platelets, attracted to damaged blood vessels. A bit like spectators attracted to the sports arena where the action takes place. The competition begins. The first event is a relay race involving a team of clotting proteins called factors. Each relay runner activates the next one in sequence by passing on a baton. Factor 8 is the key runner that passes the baton between clotting factors 9A and 10. This activates factor 10 who finishes the race. Only then can the next event begin. The next event in the competition is a test of strength with a protein called fibrin, who is a resilient team member. Like a weightlifter, the weightlifter rallies the crowd to act together. Fibrin acts like a mesh to keep platelets together so that they can form a blood clot to stop bleeding. With this, the competition is over. Team clotting wins. What happens in the blood of a person with haemophilia A? People with haemophilia A either lack factor VIII or have factor VIII that does not function properly. Without factor VIII, the team's star runner, the race cannot be finished and the team competition is stopped. As there is no fibrin to bring the platelets together, a clot cannot form properly and so bleeding continues. People with haemophilia A can be treated with replacement factor VIII. Replacement factor VIII is like asking a different athlete, say a high jumper, to substitute for the runner so that the team competition can continue, meaning the successful formation of a clot. The high jumper shares skills with our relay runner but behaves in a different manner, running in short bursts. They do the job, then leave the stadium. As each high jumper finishes, another comes on to keep the activity going. This is similar to factor VIII replacement therapy that is given at frequent intervals to stop bleeding. In some cases, inhibitors may stop replacement factor VIII from working, keeping our high jumpers from competing. Stay tuned to find out what this means for our team event. Episode 2, coming soon.